This presentation will show the procedure for adjusting the door lock mechanism on the standard door Dexter washer. Dexter Laundry recommends that all service and troubleshooting be done by a qualified service person. Live voltage is present inside of every Dexter machine. Extreme caution should be used if you decide to troubleshoot your equipment. Dexter Laundry always recommends that you disconnect power to your washer or dryer before attempting any service. Warning. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. The tools that you will need for this process are a small standard screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 and 3 16 socket or nut driver, and the Dexter 6324 service key. First, remove electrical power from the machine. Then, using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws from the soap dish. Then turn the 6324 service key to the unlocked position. Carefully pry the top panel loose from the alignment posts at the corners of the washer. To remove the front panel, remove the two Phillips screws from the front panel. Then remove the two 5 16 screws from inside the control panel which fasten the front panel to the control panel. The front panel of the machine can now be removed. To check the door hinge switch, close the door of the machine slowly to check that the flat plate on the door hinge comes into contact with the switch two to three inches before the door gasket seats to the tub. With the door closed, use the volt ohm meter to check for continuity between the red and black wires attached to the door hinge switch. Next, remove the masking ring by removing the four 5 16 nuts in the corners of the masking ring. The door hinge switch is mounted to the back side of the masking ring. The wire leads to the hinge switch are long enough to place the masking ring on top of the machine. The door lock assembly can now be accessed. The components of the locking plate are the latching switch, the piggyback lock switches, the locking pawl, the actuator arm, and the pin to the door lock solenoid or gear motor in the upper panel. By closing the door and turning the handle to the latched position, you should hear the latching switch engage. The volt ohm meter can also be used to verify the switch closure. If adjustment is necessary, use the standard screwdriver to loosen the lower screw of the latching switch and rotate it to the right until the switch engages. Tighten the switch in this position. The most common adjustment for solving an F1 error code is to adjust the piggyback locking switches. To do this, the door is closed and latched. With the door latched, raise the locking pawl. Check that the pawl is in the fully raised position so that the two piggyback lock sensing switches are now closed. The single roller switch actuator should not touch the switch body, but should be centered on the actuator roller. To adjust the piggyback switches, loosen the top 3 16 screw, push the switch to the right, and tighten. The door lock assembly should now be properly aligned. Reinstall the masking ring and front panel, then close the machine top and power up. The washer is now ready for use.